Hallelujah. At this time, we have our second lesson taken from 1 Thessalonians 4, from verse 13 to verse 18. And truly, at Christ is right. This is right. We we'll come and do the reason for us. Good afternoon, everyone. Can you give the Lord a shout of praise this afternoon? Praise the Lord another time. God is good. All the time. All the time, God is good. Praise the Lord. Our second lesson comes to us from 1 Thessalonians 4, reading from verse, verses 13 to 18. And it reads, But I would not have you to be ignorant. Brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that he sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also who sleep in Jesus will God do with him. For this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together, shall, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. 18 and last. Wherefore, com wherefore comfort one another with these words. Here in this portion of God's own word and honor I say. Okay, moving along. We have two tributes. First one will be done by Vanessa Tausi, please. And second by Andrew Rose Green.
right? So please take out your office. Bishop Reed has already stated that, you know, we need more power when we don't have JPS power, even though we pay for it and we're not getting it. But uh, that's for another story, right? Um, we're asking you to give generously to the house of the Lord, all right? And we're going to say when we all get to heaven. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing His mercy and His grace. In the mansions, right and
the reading for us at this time. One to eight. It's found in the Bible there already, so somebody could just come and read it, please.
were born. And when the baby is conceived, she will take, one, take over like she's the mother of me. Only thing she couldn't do was her skin. I remember my sister only calling to have her baby. And on the way, we called Sister Judith and asked her where they were. And she replied, we have heard but in fact, they were at Flatbridge. Judy was a peacemaker and a person who socialized with everybody. She would make friends anywhere she goes, and for that, he would always love and remember her. In Ecclesiastes 3, verses 4, it says, A time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. So in remembrance, let us honor and cherish the memories and celebrate
Moxie Little Girls, Carl and Sophia English, who embarked on life journey together as one. These two girls grew up showing different personalities but love life itself. While doing their job in and around the community on a weekly basis, Miss Dolly was able to maintain Trinity and her other siblings. Miss Dolly then moved from Main Street, Puritan to Charlton with her family, then relocated to Cotton Peace, where she enrolled her kids in school. They both attended Miss Russell's basic school in Cotton Peace, Yorton Primary School, then on to the Yorton Secondary School, where they ended their school life in 1988. The family then relocated to Clarks Avenue, Yorton. While growing up in Clarks Avenue, along with nine other siblings, Carol strived for individuality as she had a close bond with her sisters and brothers. As Carol grew into a beautiful young lady, she met and fell in love with Oates and Harrison and started her family where she gave birth to her first child, Shanice Harrison. This baby brought so much light to Jenny's life, she developed a love not only for her child, but her nieces and nephews to mention a few. Things did not go as planned, so that relationship came to an end and they will move on with their lives. Judith continued caring for her daughter and doing odd jobs here and there to get men's needs. After a few years, she met and fell in love with Michael Williams and gave birth to her only son, Anton Williams. Unfortunately, life took a turn for the worse where the dwelling in class of New Yorker was engulfed in fire where the family lost everything, only left them with their clothes on their back. That was a great loss for the family, but that did not stop them from living, so they picked up the pieces of their lives where they relocated again to a new location on Main Street, Yorktown. Jane worked so hard to make life more comfortable for her two children and herself. She became a mother, a nanny, a caregiver for most babies and all kids in and around the community. Jane did not stop there. In 2013, she adopted her second daughter, Shelly Buchanan, better known as Venetia, at eight months old. She cared for that child as her biological child. Who know just would know that this child was not Jay's child. She grew this child with so much love and respect any mother would have given her daughter. Everyone Jay comes across was her friend. Everyone Jay came across was her friend. When you ask her, who is that person? She would say, quote, I'm a friend man. You don't know her. I'm a classmate. End of quote. I can't remember if I ever heard of a person that is an enemy of Judith. She was a peaceful person, don't love to argue or like to hear no confusion. You would hear her say, Love, you don't know her. Or, you know, this is nobody you know, no lucky. She was very serious, she was a very sensitive person, and if she told you something and she earned it back, she would you would never hear anything from her again. I can remember when I migrated from Jamaica, she cried and told me, Maxine, remember me and your friend of no bother for him to change. She called and she called and said, Miss friend, we miss you now, but we have something to tell you. When she found out I was having my last child, she said, Oh, it was a dear guy, oh, it was a dear guy, and I know. Oh, no, but I can only make it me. I said, Oh, you took my daughter already. How much do you want? She said, If you think you can be anybody, then you will know. When I took my baby to Jamaica, at six weeks old, as soon as I got home 
there was Jay, wait on TJ, I never got a chance with my baby until it was time for me to leave Jamaica. When I went, sorry, if I want to go anywhere, I don't know what to do or who to keep her kids. Judy door was always open. She would say, Carry it on man, and trust me, you don't have to worry. She was very strict, but very caring when it comes on to children. I remember my daughter sent my one-year-old grandbaby from America to spend three months with Judy. Judy cared for that child, and when my granddaughter got back, I said, I called her and I said, Judy, I went into the sky, all the can hear is, Andre, we are tell Andre. When you call Judy on the phone, Judy will say, Let's be with me on a same back home day. Not even a mosquito could bite that child, and everywhere you see Judy, you will see her in the sky. If I should stand here today and tell you all about Judy, who would not leave this building? Judy was a beautiful soul. Anyone who wanted their circle. If you have never met her, you have missed out on a whole lot. And if you did, if you did meet her, please cherish the moments because these memories will live on forever. On August 23rd, Judith went for a doctor's checkup and awaited her result when she started having some serious stomach pain, which she used at the doctor, then undergo some more urgent tests. Later, the result came back with the news no one wanted to hear that she was diagnosed with stage 3 cancer. Judith did not accept the result and said, there is nothing that my God can do. And she immediately gave her life to God and got baptized August 20, 2023 at Holy Temple Church. And as a fighter she is for life, she began fighting this dangerous disease. About a month later, after she did a set of tests, by then the monstrous disease moved from stage 3 to stage 4. Judith was supposed to start treatment and doctors kept putting it off. On October 25th, 2023, about minutes to 12 during the time, I received the worst phone call no human wanted to hear. She was rushed to the Lincoln Hospital and by 12.06 a.m., October 26, 2023, her fight came to an unbearable end. Our old world and life changed. Our old world and life changed drastically in that moment, and there was nothing we could do. Just left to mourn, Father, who Mother, Dolly, daughters, Shanice and Shani, son, Anthony, nine sisters, Janice, Donna, our twin sister, Sophia, Carol, Janet, Olivia, Megan, Anifa, and their son. Three brothers, Nigel, Maxwell, and Elvis. Grandmother, Miss Barnett Bailey, both of our nieces and nephews, grandnieces and grandnephews, aunts, uncles, cousins, other relatives and friends. Judith, you left me speechless, but God understand the unspoken words and emotion that man can't. Fly high, angel. The impact you left on hurt, especially on all our kids, profound, unmatched. There is no one who made us feel as secure as we did when it comes to our babies. You are a rare gem and a proclaimed pillar. Rest in eternal peace, my neighbor who came family. Carol and Marie English, better known as Judy, I know the family will take it as who we are, especially your twin, Julie and your kids, Tintin, Yomi, and Benisha. But I pray the Lord strengthen them in the darkest time. Rest in eternal peace, my best friend.
Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. You have suffered for so long. Think what you went. All the pain will be gone. You try to cry, but no tears fell from your eyes. And when it seems it was far away, I pray you will wait and pray.
my head. The more I see the glory of the soon coming day. I ask you to join me in reading of the scriptures. Sir, step away. There will be no viewing until I say so. The scripture comes to us from Revelation chapter 20. And believe me, it is not my intent to be long with you. Because I am sure you would have heard many messages in your life. Revelation 20, verse 11. And listen carefully. And I saw a great white throne. And in that summit, from whose face of earth and heaven slid away. And there was found with no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God. And the books were open. And another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave the dead which were in it. And death and hell they were given up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And they said they were cast in the lake of fire. And this is the second day. I want you to pay very close attention to the 15th and final verse. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast in the lake of fire. This is the word of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, friends all, well-wishers, family members, is your name written here? You see, um, it is all good and well that we can celebrate the passing on of a loved one. But the real question is your name written there. There is a good thing that only you and you only can determine if your name is written there. The Bible says in St. John chapter 3 and verse 16, for God so loved the world. Hello? That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever I who name so. I know you name so. I know me name so. I know you all know me name so. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Hear me. I told you earlier, I like the decor of the family. Some of you are dressed in red. Some of you are dressed in yellow and others in other colors. 
But there is a covering that is needed in order to make it to heaven. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus.
but I'm choosing today not to call on your names. Because the Bible says, whosoever come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Stop fooling around. Stop fooling around.
Hear your lips declare. They surrender all. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, Almighty God, that you will touch every life that enter this room today. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, that Lord God Almighty, that you will move to these lives, every bench, every, and God bring deliverance. Now, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Almighty God, that we will find rest and peace in Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray for the Caribbean family that you will spend today. Remember the nature of this family, sister. I pray today in the name of Jesus that you will wrap her about from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. I pray that you will wrap her your hands and tell the Lord. You may be seated. I want to, on Sundays, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at noon, we have the moments in prayer. It is a virtual service, so you can join us in one of those times of prayer. You don't have to be local. You can be anywhere in the world and join the prayer meeting. We pray for people's requests. If you have particular situations, situations that you need broken over your lives and over your family life, come, we pray with you. I also I want to encourage you to join us in our Sunday reflection. It is a virtual service again. You can join on your cell phones. If you need information for any of our services, I'm going to give you a number where you can call anytime. Listen to the number. Three, seven, three. One, three, seven, three. The voice on the next end will be my voice. Ask me anything about the services. And for the love of God, say no no pick me then. Come a Sunday school. We have Sunday school and Sundays at 10. For those of you who wish to send them to Sabbath school, they have it too. Do you hear what I'm saying? Send your children to church. Listen. Some of you might go to the Baptist, the Methodist, wherever you go. Send a picnic them to our church. You know what is wrong with Jamaica? Our children are too unchurched. We need to fix this and it needs to be fixed now. God bless you. Before, there are two buses that are provided to transport individuals to the burial site at Commodore. These are free of cost. So just go on the bus and they will carry you and carry you back. Amen? No charge. You hear me say? If they want to charge you, don't pay them. But when you see me, give me and say, Pastor, this is the offering I never pay. And I'm still talking about it again. If you have not given your offering, do not leave with it. See me and give me. Amen? Yeah. And for those of you who have come from far, 
on a half my number, send the Western Union the money grant, whatever it is, and bless the church. Hello? Hello, me na, me na, listen. Me I know one of them pastors that are just skin up. See your signs now. Church need things. Amen. And only way we can get it is when you give to the church. Church need money. So you can write a check. Write it. Anyways, before you run away, I'm going to allow you to feel for the final time. Listen up. Those who are not family, I will allow you to view first. Those who are family, remain seated. I will give you a little more time than the others. So for the non-family, you're going to come up, you're going to go around the casket and return to your seats. All right? When we are driving, it's not now. I'll be driving in front, then the marching band, then the earth, then the people scattered in the family, then everybody else in that order. When we are leaving the auditorium, we seated on the platform, we leave first, then the casket and the party else, then the family, and everybody else in that order. If you wish to view, and you're on the outside, Make your way to the front because there will be no access from the side doors. Okay? Amen. Funeral Director Robert Peace Park. What are we going to do? In a yellow jacket and tea. Yes, sir. Yes. The man himself, blessings to you.
your mama say The people are depending on you, Shirley Don't you let them down I remember mama in a happy way
But she looked out there and saw me shouting and dancing all over the backyard, tears running down my face. It's just a laugh. <laughs> Mama looked out there and she said, she ain't playing this time.
of a woman had got a short time to live. Ready! We continued in one stay. In the midst of life we are in death. Of whom then may we seek for support. But of thee, O Lord, who for our sins are justly displeased. Yet, O Lord, most holy, most holy and most merciful Savior, Deliver us not at our last hour to fall from thee for any pain of eternal death. For as much as it had pleased Almighty God in his wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our deceased sister and friend, we therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ash to ash, and dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day in the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ, 
a true second coming. The earth and the sea shall give up their dead. The corruptible bodies of them that sleep in him shall be changed, made like unto his own glorious body, according to his mighty workings, whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right from henceforth, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord, and even so saith the Spirit, for they rest from their labors. Could you all bow your heads with me at this time, please? And together we repeat the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Listen up. Everybody in this position, step out so the workmen can get space to work. Please, all the people behind me right here, make a pathway. Please. Hello. The workmen will need space right here, sir. Close it! Close it!
the members of the family to say thank you. Yeah. Thank you for all the yeah. kind words and thoughts that you shared with them in this year time of bereavement. Whether it was by text message, in person, whatever, they really and truly appreciate you. God bless you. Be safe at the road as you return to your homes. Good evening, everybody. You can sing your final set of songs if you wish to do so. But the Lord bless you and good evening. I want them the
somebody help me declare this say some trust in chariots and some trust in trust in hearts.